Hello everyone this is Saad Ahmed and today I have brought another wonderful tutorial of creating icons in Adobe Illustrator so as you are all aware when we create business card newsletter infographics we need to include icon in it like for suppose this is these are the business cards so you can see that there is an icon of call mobile message telephone internet so these are mandated to be included on the business card and same goes for the newsletter or something else okay if we are creating some infographics so you know that in order to support the text or in order to better illustrate the text you got to include icons in it so for creating icons if you find on the internet it will take a great amount of time to search for the simplest of icons so it is better to create icons yourself and include in your design projects that is very much easy to create so i will be giving you some basic understanding that how with the help of some basic tools of adobe shape builder and pathfinder tools and you will be able to create very good quality icons for your projects so to start with uh, let's suppose i need an icon for the location of a business card project so instead of searching on the internet just simply grab the circle okay from here create the polygon tool make three sides just turn upside down okay and just align everything scale it this is scale it like this and you can just drag it there okay and select everything get the shape finder shape builder tool from here just separate it separate this shape and make it a similar shape so you can see that within a matter of seconds we have created an icon for the location okay we can increase the thickness of it so basically these are known as line icons in order to make the same line icon as a flat icon what we have to do just rectangle select both shapes and by while going to the pathfinder tool click on the separate so you have just separated the shape and align it over the existing icon and from here you can change the color you can make it dark so it will give a very good look you can also add stroking to it but i believe that this is good enough for the icons okay so let's try another thing uh, let's create an icon for the website so grab the circle press control c control f and while holding the alt key just scale it and again press control c control f and scale it inward and right okay and let's create some more variations okay as you can see that both of these can be used as an icon okay but let's try some more variations okay select everything just deselect the green layer that is beneath everyone go to object expand expand appearance and from the pathfinder click add so what it has done it has just it has made the shape as one that is a black one and simply you can separate it so it has created another variation of the icon you can use this as the icon you can add the gradient over it to give it a more better look you can also create a duplicate and also then add a stroking to it like this so all these variations can be used for the icon let's create an icon for the call or the mobile phone for that is for the contact so i have created an a rectangle right and then i have created a duplicate control c control f okay so let's do the final variation and that is a sort of bonus tip in case you want to create a 3d icons so the procedure will not be difficult like you have learned how to create a flat icon 
in, in Adobe Illustrator. So just group it like this and go to window, go to 3D and materials, right? And from here, just simply click extrude. From here, you can adjust the depth. You can always adjust the axis, orientation, lighting. It, it completely depends on you. How do you want to keep your icon? Okay, if you want to change the color, you can always change the color of your object. Just double clicking on it like this. You can always edit the colors. And if you think that you want to uh, edit the depth or any other perspective angle for this, so you can do that as well while going to window appearance and click on 3D and materials it will always be an editable form so you can simply edit from here as well 